Hello, this is the walkthrough for tutorial 1.5, a part created with Revolve Geometry on page 34 of the textbook. So, uh, this is the part we're going to create. It's a pulley, and uh, <clears throat> to make this pulley, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll just open up a new file here. Alright, and uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to draw a center line, sketch tab center line on the right plane, very important that we pick the right plane. Square up to the right plane there and select the origin and draw your construction line straight up. And then we're going to go to the center rectangle tool and we're going to draw two rectangles centered on our center line. And our next step is we are going to go ahead and draw in two vertical lines connecting our rectangles. Okay. Now let's go ahead and we'll put in some dimensions here. Uh, this first dimension we'll put in uh, will be one and a half up here. Second one will be two. And I want to show you something. If for some reason when you add your smart dimensions your line moves to the other side that's a problem but it's a real simple fix all you have to do is click and drag it back to the correct location you can see both lines can move freely across that center line uh, by clicking and dragging so let's go ahead and add in uh, smart dimensions between the two vertical lines and that'll be a quarter inch so 0.25 whoops all right and we'll just drag those there and I'm also going to add a geometric relation called the symmetric relation. So by holding control and clicking all three of these lines, the two vertical object lines in our center line, going over here to the left and clicking on symmetric, they will now be symmetric across that center line. Next step, uh, we're going to draw a horizontal center line. So from the origin out we're going to draw a center line and we need to do some smart dimensioning. Now it's very important to note when we smart dimension here we're not smart dimensioning to the center line we're smart dimensioning across the center line so please note that by dimensioning across the center line we're specifying the diameter of this revolved feature and not the radius. So the first diameter that we will insert here will be one inch and the second diameter will be 1.75 the third diameter will be 5 and the fourth diameter will be 7 okay so I'm just gonna clean up my dimensions there and we are now fully defined so I'm going to go ahead and approve that sketch, go to the Features tab, and click on Revolve Boss Base. I need to specify my axis of revolution, which is right here, so make sure you click in that box and you click the horizontal center line, because that is what our sketch will revolve around. And then you need to click un Unselect Thin Feature, and then click in the Selected Contours box. And we are going to select all three rectangles and hit the green check mark and now we have the basic outline of our pulley created our next step is we'll go ahead and do a revolved cut and that revolved cut will be drawn in the right plane so let's go ahead and we'll change our view to the right and we will go to the sketch tab we will go to the center line tool because that will be the first thing we draw click this drop down list there Okay, and select the right plane. From the origin, draw out a horizontal center line. And then back up at the top, we're going to draw a trapezoid. Make sure you snap to the edges when you draw the top two points. Very important you snap to the edges there. Um, we also need a, one more center line, a vertical center line as well. Okay, then um, 
I'm going to add in my smart dimensions. So this first smart dimension down here is 0.5 and then the height is 0.5 and then the the angles here we need to make sure that those are symmetric and it's it's better to do that before you put in your 40 degree angle so we'll hold down control select all three lines and hit symmetric and then we can click both sides of the trapezoid and add them add the 40 degree smart dimension okay so I'm fully defined now and I'm ready to do my revolved cut so I'm gonna go up to the features tab click on revolved cut For my axis revolution is going to be the horizontal center line and it's very important at this point that you make sure that your horizontal center line is actually horizontal and you'll know it's horizontal because it'll have this little green box here with the black horizontal line in it if your horizontal center line is not actually horizontal then the revolved cut will be crooked and lopsided and your pulley won't turn out right okay so that's the v-groove and the pulley next thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and we will extrude cut a keyhole so I'm gonna go ahead and select the corner rectangle tool and I will select this surface of the pulley here I will draw a corner rectangle first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hold control select the bottom line of the rectangle and select the origin and add a midpoint relation next step is I'm going to go ahead and add in the smart dimension for the height. The height of this should be 0.6 and the width should be 0.25. Okay. And I'm going to go up to features tab and extrude cut. And I'm going to change from blind to through all and I'm going to turn it sideways a little bit to make sure that my extrusion is going the correct direction. And now the last thing we have to do is add our fillets and add our chamfers. So I'll go ahead and click on the fillet tool in the features tab. Items to fillet. Go ahead and select the corners of the inside of the pulley careful not to select what you've already selected because that will deselect. If you accidentally click the entire surface, click the entire surface again to deselect it. If you're not seeing the yellow preview, you can go over here and you can change the preview. You can go from full preview, partial preview, or no preview. The fillet parameters needs to be 0.25. and hit the green check mark to approve it and there we go now we have our fillet okay last thing we need to do material we're going to go up to the material right click and we're going to go edit material and we're going to scroll through steel until we find cast carbon steel we're going to click apply and close you'll notice that the color of your pulley has changed and we're going to go to the evaluate tab select mass properties and we are going to see the mass equals 2 point or 8.26 pounds, which is exactly what it equals in your book. So we know we drew this part exactly correct.